Father's Day is coming up on Sunday, so I just wanna say happy Father's Day to my dad, all the other dads out there, appreciate you. My dad is a huge influence on my life. He taught me growing up what it means to be a man, to be a man of God, and uh, I just obviously can't ever thank him enough for what he's been to my life. When I was younger, I always thought, okay, when you have kids, most of your parenting is done before the age of 18. They kick them out of the house and they're mostly on their own. But I feel like my dad has done more for me since turning 18 than probably the 18 years of my life when I lived in the house. I just called my dad uh, the other day to ask him a question about my car because I thought there was something wrong with it. When I got my own house, he was over, I feel like, all the time, helping me fix things from plumbing to electric to all sorts of things. So it's just, one, I'm making this to appreciate my dad, to tell him, I know he watches these, so I want to tell him thank you. I uh, appreciate everything you've done in my life. I also want to make this video for other people who, like me, maybe didn't understand or appreciate the value of having a great father in their life. Um, I know that a lot of people don't have fathers that stick around and are a part of their life and as great of a dad as my dad was. When I think about Father's Day, when I think about my dad, I think about this episode of Boy Meets World where Corey is super upset and mad at his dad because he feels like he's average. And he says, I'm average because you're average. And his dad basically says, I'm sorry that you think average is a bad thing. But when I was growing up, I wanted so hard to be average. We grew up poor, we didn't have much, and I worked my butt off just to get to average, to give you a better life than that. So you could stand on my shoulders and climb above average. And that's what I think of when I think of my dad and when I think of Father's Day. And I'm not saying my dad is average. Don't take that out of it. He's amazing. He's the greatest dad in the world. But what it reminds me of is we didn't always have a lot of money. We didn't have everything fantastic when I was growing up. My dad had dreams of working on cars and running his own shop. He got married and had kids. He made a decision to work and help support the family. When my mom got pregnant, all four times, my dad got laid off. Things weren't always easy for him. And I know that he worked hard to allow us to get to a point, to get us to average or whatever you want to say. But I know that he put in the work so that I could be better than him. And it's even hard to say that because it sounds demeaning, but I know, what he, I know he knows what I'm talking about. He doesn't want me to just settle. So sometimes I think about giving up. I think about these dreams that I have are too difficult. And maybe I'd be better off to just quit and push boxes in a warehouse somewhere. But I know that he didn't go through what he went through so that I could do the same thing. And he didn't struggle so that I could struggle. He wanted to lay a foundation for me so that I could stand on his shoulders and accomplish even more in life. I'm happy that he's able to now work finally for a few days a week uh, at a garage called Brews Engines. Check it out. It's in Rogers, Minnesota. Uh, Brews Engines, they do all sorts of, uh, you know, souping up with cars and, and all that fun stuff that my dad loved to do but never got to do because he had to take care of us. My dad worked a nine to five job in warehouses so he could help provide for the family. He did that so that I wouldn't have to. He did that so I could reach high and achieve my dreams. The big dreams that I have for myself, I want my kids to achieve more, no question. And I, I hope that I can be the example that my father was to me. I hope I can be that example to my kids someday. Really, this video is an appreciation for my dad. I want all y'all to see it because I want you to understand how great my dad is. <laughs> and I want you to appreciate him as well. If you see my dad, if you go to church with him or you know my dad, tell him thank you uh, for me. And if you have a dad and you maybe don't appreciate it, maybe you think your dad is average. Maybe you think you're average because your dad is average. Maybe you think that I'm just at this place in my life because my parents didn't reach the success to set me up for something better. You might look around and see some friends that have more money and maybe you know people whose uh, parents had influence to got them higher paying jobs or better jobs or got their foot in the door or something. And maybe you, like Corey Matthews, think, oh, my dad's just average, and so that's why I'm average. I'm telling you that the chances are your dad worked his butt off to get to where he is. Not so that you can stay at that place, but so that you can go even further than he ever could have dreamed of. So I just want to say thank you, Dad. I know we don't say it a lot, but I want to say I love you, and happy Father's Day.